Russia is getting a taste of bitter medicine again. Stinger missiles that harassed and maimed Russian aircraft during the war in Afghanistan a generation ago are back in limited numbers on the Ukrainian battlefield and doing damage to Russian air assets. President Joe Biden announced on March 1 that a shipment of Stinger anti-aircraft weapons would be sent to Ukraine as part of a $350 million military aid package. Germany will supply 500 Stingers and the Baltic states have provided the anti-aircraft system to Ukraine since January. Other countries such as Italy and Netherlands will also send air defenders. What is a Stinger missile? The FIM-92 Stinger missile is a man-pad, man-portable air defense system shoulder-fired that specializes in taking out helicopters. Stingers have been around in numbers since the late 1970s. They were originally developed by General Dynamics and are now made by Raytheon Missile Systems. The Stinger can also target low-flying airplanes and drones, even enemy cruise missiles. The Stinger missile has many advantages. The all-weather Stinger missile has a 2.5-mile range. The launcher when loaded weighs 33 pounds and maintenance of the unit is straightforward. Users do not need extensive training. They are fire and forget systems, which means they are guided by infrared means. The two-man crew can shoot and scoot to a new position after launch. They excel at resisting countermeasures such as flares. Stingers can also be mounted on a vehicle for better portability. Stinger missile. Shots usually succeed. The targeting system, according to military today, can identify friendly aircraft to avoid fracture side. When the launcher locks on target there is a vibration signal and a speaker. The rocket has a solid fuel propulsion and produces a velocity that is twice the speed of sound. It has a highly explosive 6-pound fragmentary warhead. Raytheon says on its corporate website that the Stinger missile has a 90% success rate in reliability and training tests. Turn the tide against the Soviets in Afghanistan. The Stinger missile system was provided to Mujahideen insurgents in 1986 during the Soviet war in Afghanistan. They reportedly destroyed 250 Soviet aircraft, mainly helicopters. This success made the Soviets change air tactics for their attack and transport helicopters. Retired Army LT Gen Jim Dubik with the Institute for the Study of War told Army Times. Once the Stinger is employed, it has the ability to be a game changer, he said. The Russians don't have air dominance, but they do have air superiority. And the Stingers won't take that away, but it will be contested airspace, and that hurts the Russians' ability to conduct operations, and increases Ukraine's ability to defend. <laughs>